Estonians are coming out and uh, they're supporting the Springboks of what is day two of their trophy tour. Yesterday they were in Pretoria, they were in Soweto, they were in Johannesburg. Let's go down to uh, Justin Ford who's following the Cape Town leg of this. Justin, after Cape Town, after today they're going to go down to Durban and then to East London as well. I'm not saying there's any kind of competition, Justin Ford, but right now it looks like Cape Town could be beating Joburg, Pretoria and Soweto. You're biased, I'm biased. Let's call it a tie, shall we? One point between us. Gareth, I can absolutely tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I was there for the 2019 uh, trophy tour when the Springboks won the Rugby World Cup in Japan. And the crowds in Cape Town, the central business district at least thus far, uh, overshadows uh, the 2019 crew so that already is a fantastic start I'm just gonna kind of just walk backwards um, as we just get a bit closer to the amount of people that we really see here in Bont uh, we were not able to uh, witness at least um, the fans uh, out in Langa but as I mentioned earlier a massive uh, rich in history um, there with a club called busy Bee celebrating 100 years um, uh, in existence but here in Bont uh, a community rife with social ills um, and you know just again speaking to what Sia Felici had said the fact that these people um, look at moments like these for happiness there's smiles all around um, people are anxiously waiting for the Springboks to make their way down Yakel's Flay line um, and they definitely are excited I think we are causing a bit of mayhem here by actually physically walking in the street um, whereas you know the tape has been put up to control the crowds but I think with that being said, they are happy to be seen. They want to be seen on TV. People love to see the heroes, and that's most certainly what they're excited to, to, to witness this afternoon. I imagine as well, Justin, with the, the tape holding all the people back, that tape isn't going to mean very much, Justin Ford, when they start seeing Sia Colisi, when they start seeing Stephen Kitsoff, when they start seeing Cheslin Colby. I feel like I'm missing a few of the Cape Town-based players or former Cape Town-based players uh, for the Stormers as well. Th that tape isn't going to mean very much in a couple of minutes. Unfortunately not. It's not going to mean much um, as the fact that, you know, these people want to get us humanly close to these, to, these, uh, to these players and to the bus. But the police presence has been big, law enforcement as well, and I think it will be their jobs to make sure that uh, the least the fans are protected and don't try and get too close to the bus. But Gareth, this is absolutely amazing to witness a community like this. As I said, the fact that there are so many people um, lining the streets, just really wanting to see the Springboks, and they also rushing um, the team themselves, having left Cape Town, making their way through Langa. Um, and, and, and yeah, it is signs up, Boka Yella Lekka Dung. Um, and it really is just such a amazing feeling a feeling that i hope these communities hold onto for a long time um because as i said it's tough out here they know it we know it um, mm. but it's moments like these that they stand together um and, and again just to them holding on to this moment um and and definitely get to experience something and something momentous seeing the spring box coming through i know that the ward councillor uh, uh, angus mckenzie who Percival young interviewed earlier he spoke about you know the fight that he had to endure uh, to get the Springboks to come through here. He's done it, and the community is happy. Yeah, as we stay with that conversation with Angus McKenzie and Percival uh, earlier, Justin, I hope you can still hear me. He made such a lovely remark that he hopes that the youngsters, there they are on camera, these little ones, and the busy bees and, you know, the, the history of rugby in the area, that children are going to turn to rugby balls instead of guns. They're going to turn to rugby fields instead of drugs as well. It was so nicely said. And it's, it's not to take away from the celebration today, but it can also talk to the importance, the significance of the kind of difference winning a World Cup like this can mean as a part of getting just a nice fancy trophy. It can actually make a lot of social difference as well. Absolutely, and I think it will have to start with facilities in these communities. Um, you know, they, I think there's only one recognizable field uh, that they can play sport on. It's a multi-purpose um, facility where cricket, soccer, rugby all gets played on. 
Um, but I think it's something to make sure that that is available to the communities, that it's been maintained properly to ensure that they can use it. And I think that's the, the, the first thing. And getting schools in these areas to, 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 to buy into that mindset that that's the only way we are going to, 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 to get uh, you know, the kids gun-free. Uh, another phrase that I have heard being penned is a child on the field is a child of the streets. And that's very much is true, Gareth. Um, we, we see them on the streets today, but it's to see their heroes that perform on the field. Um, and I think that in itself is, is what I hope sincerely that uh, you know, remains with many of them. Just listening to, to some of the kids mentioning the Cheslin Colby, Sia Kulisi, Damien Willemser, Kurt Lee Aronson, Kanan Moody. Um, you know, those are their heroes that these young boys can look up to. We, a lot of the current Springbok team, I uh, know uh, assistant coach Mzwan Dile Stick had said 1995 was the catalyst for him um, as a young black boy. To, to, to get excited about rugby, to know that sport can unite um, you know, this country um, at, at what it was an early stage of our democracy back then. Uh, we're looking again at next year being 30 years of a democracy in our country and are we in a better state than what we were um, you know, in those early days of democracy? Maybe, maybe not, but I think a lot of work still needs to be done and it's important that moments like these are highlighted and remembered so that these young boys and girls um, do have hope. We are seeing a bigger police presence now um, through uh, the streets of Yakos Uh So the hope is that the, the actual bus has made its way into Van um, and, and, and some of the fans have seen them already. Well then, Justin, what we'll do is we'll give you a couple of moments uh, to see if you can find that bus. The moment it does, of course, we're going to come back to you, take your visuals as well. It's going to get loud. I'm not even sure if we're going to hear you on a microphone when that starts. But we are watching, as is Justin Ford, down for us in Bonta Hevel as well. Everyone is out. Nothing's happening in Bonta Hevel today. They're busy watching for that, uh, the Springbok bus coming through in a couple of moments. What I want to do is uh, 